and we're back. Irv motivates. We're here. Um, Camp Springs, uh, Urban Style Media, with the Joey Kibble, the great. Okay, um, it was. It's been really a deep and touching and motivating segment, and we're just gonna go right into it. So, so Joey, you talked about how the pain of your life and how you came out of that, which actually inspired the book. Out of the desert flow rivers. Um, this is about how a collection of blogs and literally uh, written by Joey, um, uh, how his passion of ministry and, and healing, breaking negative cycles, healing, restoration, and empowerment. Uh, tell us a little bit more about this. You know, that book was written, uh, I was doing blogs for Take Six. Wow. For their corner. Wow. And he was just like, now, I'm going to give you something to that's going to inspire you. Just write right. about it. Because if he'd have come to me and said, write a book, I'd have been like, I can't do it. Right. By the time I was actually inspired to write a book, it was already written. Wow. Now, it took 12 years to get this book out, not because it was written. Oh. It was already written. But those 12 years were dealing with the fear of obstacles, the fear of what people think, the fear of failure. If it, that's what those 12 years were I'm all not about. trying to put in a plug for myself, but <laughs> 100 Days of Real Motivation was written in 2013, and we are in 2019. My book is done. It's coming, and he, gonna, he already done kicked me in the butt. and like, Irv, your book is coming out. It's time for us. We are authors. We need to get our product out. We need to touch the world. No more playing small. So, so at, there was one First time, of all, where can we get this book, Joey? www.joelkibble.com. Say it again now. Joelkibble.com. www. Or Amazon. You can go okay. through Amazon. Or you can hit me up because uh, I am the publisher for this book. So you're self-publishing your book, publishing which I will. I'm independent independent publisher. Independent publisher. I now, love it. Your book is called 100 Days of Motivation. Yes. That came from there was some point where you were not motivated. That's correct. Where you were depressed. That's correct. That was your valley. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got a valley, but there's something in that valley that you need, mm -hmm. that God knows you need. So here's the thing. I thought I was a failure mm. when I went through my worst experience. Right. In his mind, it was like a Peter situation. I already know the depths to which you can die. die. Right, right. That's why I'm here. Right. I'm not expecting you to perform perfectly. What I'm expecting you to do is let me live my life out inside something? of you. Isn't that so your victory includes your worst defeat. Nice. And in your worst defeat, he's going to give you a jewel that not only is going to be for your healing, but it's going to be for the healing of everybody who hears about your experience. When you're going through problems, trials, tribulations, persecution, Understand it's a part of the process towards you becoming great. You know, diamonds go through pressure to become diamonds. Mm -hmm. Do not think of yourself as being an anomaly. We all go through it, okay? <laughs> you just heard it from Joey. Grammy <laughs> award winning nominated, round with Michael Jackson, you know, <laughs> Billy <Right>. Clinton, <laughs> Aretha Franklin. Right. This takes six. Oh, speaking of take. Wait, wait, By wait. the way, uh, oh, when you read on. page 110, that talks about the process of diamonds. I was about you want to go that. ahead and, you know, and put that in there. Don't let the process punk you out of the promise. All right. Okay? That Understand good. that the process is, is meant to be a bridge for you to be great. Right. It's a part of removing people, places, and things. That's what we're going through, Earth right. Motivate. I, I want to talk about um, real quick as, as 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 we're talking about uh, now the greatness and you now are doing motivation, um, um, and it's something that you seem to really be passionate about. So you're actually in, in living your best life right now. Um, because that thing that I thought that disqualified me for life is now actually what he wants me to grab and give to other people. It's my story. So your pain this has is now become a part of your passion. 
it, it, that's where the passion was born. Wow. When you have passion for something, you experience something that was not right, mm. that you mm. wanted to see change, and it probably intimidated you and punked you down. Right. But he then became that courage through you to overcome. And this overcoming process, is may, it may not be a one-time-for-all situation. I walk out this victory every day that I get up. Wow. Because it hasn't stopped. The 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 w- desire to be depressed about something hasn't stopped. You just don't focus on it anymore. There you go. Um, I remember a movie about that. I can't recall that movie, but uh, uh, not Great Minds, um, A Beautiful Mind. A Beautiful Mind. He won the, When he won the Nobel Peace Prize or whatever he won, and they were giving him the honor he said, you know, some of y'all want to know if I still see these imaginary people who are who are still who I've been seeing all this time. I see dead people. <laughs> but that's a whole different st- that's a whole different movie. But he said, yes, I still see those people. Mm. They are still imaginary. I just don't I don't pay attention to them anymore. I want to. I still I wanna, have that sickness, but I, I I don't live it anymore. I want I want to know as we close. This has really been. Really something I've been burning to hear from you. All right. So so when you hear like artists like Jay-Z talk about take six and you know what I mean? <laughs> Michael Jackson, take six. I mean, how do you feel about that? I mean, you know, I wanna I wanna close I'm tell out. You, on I'm this. gonna tell you a story. First of all, I'm honored because there's some crazy people who have given who have listened to take six. First of all, I'm honored that they heard Take Six. I was writing a song called More Than Ever, and I was praying, God, please, I want you to blow this song up. I want this song to, I wanted millions of people to so, hear. So you actually go through this. I wanted millions of wow. people to hear this song. because Y'all heard I felt it first like, on Earth Motor Bench, right Because here. that talked about my pain even before this book wow. came out. Wow, wow. And I prayed and prayed and prayed that God would bless that song. Take Six did the song. On the project, it didn't seem to do anything. Right. Almost seven, ten years later, Ty Dolla Sign takes the sample from this song. Ty Dolla Sign? Ty Dolla Sign. D Ty Dolla Sign? Takes the sample from like, this song. Who's that? I mean, for and, the people back home. Who's and Chris. <laughs> Ty and he's an artist. artist okay, that I okay. Have. Just, you know. And his song, Purple Emoji, uses this song as a sample. I didn't realize this until a couple of weeks ago. I looked up on his site because he had to ask for permission to use a song and all that kind of stuff. Right. But when I looked at his views, his views were like 8 million, 10 million, wow. 20 million, whatever for this song. Insane. And I realized at that point, God had answered my prayer to the T. Mm. Now, I didn't sell... 8 million Not copies yet. of the song. Not yet. But <laughs> that he had gotten 8 million hits wow. to this song, and I realized mm. the song has gotten out be careful to what all you these pray people. For and be careful what you really wish for, because I'm going to tell you something. What you wish for will come true. <laughs> and right now, I'm wishing that Joey would come back and be with us again real soon. I mean, nah, come on, man. I'm serious. All right, come and, you know, on, you're going to bring no some of those. problem with me. I'm here now. <laughs> so, you know, I'm coming a, back. That was, that's actually what the dream come true. Right, it was my on, prayer man. to have to start off, because this is our pre-show, and we're going to have a larger show, and then we're going to go into the season, and we're going to do some special things. And um, right. I want you to be a recurring uh, guest you already at home now. All right. And um, Come on. we want to go, we're going to go viral. I know this. And we're going to touch millions of people. And that's why we're here. We want to thank you for taking the time out to just watch us and support us. Make sure you get the book. Uh, coming up, 100 Days of Real Motivation. My book is coming up. You'll hear so yes. much more about that. Um, connect with us. Um, www.irvindapness.com And, um, Anything else you want to say, Joey? Oh, man. 
I am glad to see you get to this point, man. And we. I'm trying we. to catch Come up. Come on now. I'm trying author. to catch up, Mustard. First author in my family. See what I'm talking Are about? you the first author in your family? Yes, Come I on, am. man. I and am. let them know yes. that it can be that first time for them as well. Amen. Thank you, man, for coming by. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? All right. We appreciate I you, appreciate man. God bless. It. Had a great time. God bless you and good night, like Russell Simmons said. <laughs> <laughs> That's supposed to be your final.